Hey, how you doing? How would you like to know how to properly replace the engine water pump of Toyota hybrid system? So you want to learn? Just give me a few minutes and stick around. Yes, let's see. Oh. So yes, we have to replace the engine coolant pump of this 2013-14 Toyota Aqua. Now the thing is that happens that this vehicle we diagnosed yesterday and gave us P261B engine trouble code, which means that the coolant pump performance is not the very best. Although I checked it, it was, it was working. The problem usually what happens is that the rotor begins to crack and finally begins to get stuck every so often depending on the temperature. So it's nothing we can do. We're gonna take this out, replace it with a brand new one, and that should be it. So stick around. First thing we gotta do, we gotta remove all this air filter housing. Once everything everything is out, you can always remove these five 12 millimeter bolts. Okay, you can always use a a long socket, which this this one is the one I recommend. Okay, it fits very well from underneath. From this part as well and from the top so we'll make it too complicated unless which is even better you can always take out the complete intake manifold and take out the complete assembly it, only if you see this uh, pink sugar from the size of the of all this uh, coolant connection which i strongly recommend do as preventive maintenance now, if you don't see any pink sugar don't even touch it just take out the pump uh, alone and that should be it so let's continue okay so everything is out let me just take it out here we go, here we go, here she comes. Could be a little tricky, but... So this is the old one. Now let's check the rotor right away. Let me see, right here, like. Let me see, oh yes, it's a little hard. Let me take it out and I'll show you what's going on. Obviously I have to remove this little seal over here and this washer, and then I can pull out the old rotor. <sighs> see, let me see. There it is. Here you go. Look. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. That's what causes it rots inside and expand. This is the electric rotor, which has a plastic cover that over time, I suppose because the temperature that cracks, the magnet inside the rotor begins to rot, oxidize, and then of course expands and begins to get stuck. This causes the coolant pump not to work. Hence the internal combustion engine is going to overheat. So be careful. If you have P261B, stop the vehicle, get a record, and bring it over to hybrid solution diagnostics. So let's continue. Let's assemble now the new one. We gotta clean the connection and install it right away. So much love unboxing. It's always like Christmas. <laughs> right, bring it on. Let's see what we got here. The, oh, with a new seal. Amazing. You see, has some instructions in Japanese. Hmm. It even telling me to disable the hybrid system. All right. And here we have a brand new engine coolant pump let me take out of the back all right here we are original i seen okay it's the same but the thing is let me show you quickly this one is hard right now take a look at this one can you see way lighter and free to move so once we install this brand new original pump bleed it off by gravity and this vehicle is ready to go so we will continue you always should make sure that when you put in the seal of the new coolant pump she only goes in one position. Let me show you. You cannot put it upside down. It only has one single, this little uh, upper belly over here. So you cannot put it upside down. So you gotta be careful and make sure she's sticking properly. Otherwise, when you pushing it down in, if by chance you push it up, it might slack of it and then you can damage the seal. So be very careful with this. She's coming in right now. There it is, fully installed. Everything's well connected now. There she is, and it's time to top up. For this vehicle, we're going to use the phosphate hybrid organic acid technology. Now, this one is actually 50% diluted with water. It's some of the one aftermarket that I could recommend for this uh, Toyota hybrid vehicle. It's a very, very high quality, not the expensive, not the cheap one, but it's a middle term. So this one is a very nice Cerex. I'm actually testing my pulse right now. Eh, 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 eh. Really, when you're going to bleed the system, okay, the system doesn't have any external bleeders, none of those things. I strongly recommend you could connect your Dr. Prius app and put the vehicle in maintenance mode. So the internal combustion engine will be always running as well as the engine coolant pump. So it will be super fast and easy for the internal combustion engine to heat up, open up the thermostat, and then allow to recirculate the coolant, okay? So Dr. Prius, let's hook it up. I fall, but I have to, once I start the internal combustion engine, this is gonna go down. That's exactly what I need to do. Connected, I put the vehicle in ignition on, ready off. And let me start. 
Actually, this battery is using the lithium battery. That's why you see the internal resisting is extremely low, which is super, super amazing. So let's go right away to special features. And I'm going to maintenance mode. That's it. Once I put it in maintenance mode, I put the engine ready mode. And we will always have that light that is telling us that the engine will always want to be running. And then of course, once you start the engine, the pump begins to work and look, the liquid begins to go down. Now, let me top it up. I did top it up again and look, it continues goes down. Eh? Let's see, I'm not seeing the coolant circulating yet. There it goes. Let's say it's circulating now and just, and that should be it. Final step is verified with the scan tool that we are getting the requested RPM that the computer commands the coolant pump. Hold on until the temperature rises pretty much. The vehicle gets pretty, pretty warm. Then let it cool down, open it up again, recheck the level. And this is how properly you replace the engine coolant pump in any type of Toyota hybrid vehicle. In water pump speed and electric water pumps target speed, what the computer expects this to spin. Let's check out the live data. And there you go. So this is my live data RPM, and this is what the computer expects, which usually they're supposed to be equal or close to equal. So this is telling me that first of all, we don't have any more trouble code P261B, and then because the computer is working as expects, okay, this is a complete fix. This vehicle is ready to go, and that's it. Stick around for more tips to Hyper Solution Diagnostic. What are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. You want more content? Subscribe.